Oh, good morning, another bare face start to the vlog. Welcome to Vlogtober day 20. It's starting at 1 p.m. today. Uh, I've just got my breakfast because someone can't eat anything until they get all their work done. And it took a while because I finally got the vlog up. So this is a bit of a longer vlog. I really wanted to get this blog post with the outfit in it up for you guys as well. So that's up on tiremares.com. So if any of you guys liked my outfit from yesterday's vlog, it is, it is there along with a full shoot. It's a beautiful day, some exciting stuff planned for later so I wasn't too fussed about getting the vlog started super early today. How do you feel about me accidentally showing you in your boxers on one of the vlogs? I don't really mind to be honest. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know. Someone actually wrote it in the comments I had no idea what they were talking about because clearly I'm way too absorbed in myself to see you in the background running around in your in your pants. Definitely. Today's outfit, back to Mac casual jeans and a t-shirt, <laughs> Levi's wedgies, which are actually getting a little bit big. I think I need to start buying the 27 inch waist instead of the 28. And a plain white t-shirt. I'll probably just throw on my leather jacket, which I feel like when I don't know what to expect with the weather, that's like my go-to jeans, white tee, leather jacket. I've got my Origins a Drink Up Intensive mask on, which is giving me a nice glow. Can you guys believe it is so dark in here that it was literally too dark to vlog? I had to turn on my ring light for five minutes to update you guys. Honestly, there is a certain kind of depression that comes with being in a dark apartment for the colder months. It's not nice and it's it's really close now and it sucks. I've just been here depopping, postaging, all of my postaging, no. Ready, ching ching scissors, coffee getting me through as usual. But yeah, thank you to anyone who purchased anything pre-loved from my Depop shop. The link is down below for that. Uh, there's a couple of pieces left and I'll try and add a few more bits this week also. So I thought while I was here packaging stuff up, I thought I would package the giveaway prize from last week. Um, some of you missed it because there's one or two Vlogtobers that really went under the radar and didn't really get as many views as my other Vlogtober videos, but one of them was the giveaway. Um, so for anyone that saw the last giveaway, well done. You entered, I think, 350 comments on that one for this giveaway for the 2017 Spring Summer Burberry Makeup Beauty Collection. So, so, so much Burberry stuff. Um, as I mentioned in that, I got a double of everything when I went on the Burberry trip. So this was the other one. And then I have a whole collection for myself. I'm gonna pick the winner for that in a minute, but I thought why not sort of announce the next giveaway because I told you guys in that video that I was gonna do a giveaway every single week of Vlogtober. So the next one is... A couple of weeks back, I mentioned I wanted to give some of this Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff away. There are so many nice eyeshadow goodies here and they're all mostly single eyeshadows that I never got around to using. I got them in a press drop a while back and I thought they would be better off given to someone who is still really into like creative makeup or just likes doing eyeshadow looks and all that good stuff. So I've got all of these and I've also got this literally only used once World Traveler Anastasia palette. I literally think I tried one shadow from this. So again, I thought that somebody that was into eyeshadow might enjoy it, even though it's a touch to use, I think someone can still appreciate it. And these shades, these warm shades here are gorge. So there's that. And then there's also this, which I bought at iMats, I think last year for the eyeshadows. It's a Z palette, which is basically a palette that you can see all of the eyeshadows. You can basically depot all of these singles, use the little magnets and stick them in there so they're all in one place and they're all like nice and safe. So just like last time, the entry is gonna be super simple. It's gonna be comment based. All you have to do is obviously be subscribed and then leave a comment. So last time I asked you guys, what was your favorite Vlogtober so far? And I think this time I'm gonna ask you guys, what kind of Vlogtober do you like? Do you like the ones where I'm out and about eating and just enjoying New York and walking around and showing you guys the sights and the vibe of being outside? Or do you like the Vlogtobers where I'm just chill at home, depopping stuff like this? I would love to know, because it, it seems that there's a real divide. There's the people that love that outgoing stuff. And then there's the people that really just enjoy a boring chatty little vlog. Okay, so it's picking the winner. It's all of you guys that commented. And pick, randomly pick winner. Michelle Burns, congratulations. Oh, what a sweet comment. 
Okay, all my work is done for the day. It is just coming up to four o'clock, so I don't need to do anything else. Everything's posted, everything's taken care of, everyone's emailed back, and we're going upstate. So our plans for this evening, we booked in for the great jack-o'-lantern blaze and to be honest i haven't really looked into it much uh, i booked these like a month ago that's how much i love halloween um but it does sell out really quickly every year and i feel like they're nearly all sold out already and it must be good all i know about it is that it's upstate and there's seven thousand pumpkins so we're going up for the adventure i'm literally going in with zero expectations we've decided not to eat out even though i have a massive craving for pasta we're just going to make it at home because we've actually got some nice Trader Joe's bits. So I am going to make my usual, unfortunately, so boring stuff tonight. But before I make dinner, I'm going to quickly get the sea salt out because I hate to say it, but my ear is infected. Boiling some water just to dissolve some of the sea salt, which is a Dean and DeLuca sea salt. Probably the most bloody expensive salt in New York, but I find it really difficult to find just plain sea salt for my ear which if you guys have been watching the weekly vlogs before vlogtober you'll know that I got this little double cartilage piercing right here and um, it's been healing really well from what I could see I've just been cleaning it with saline solution which my piercer recommended and online recommends for um, cartilage piercings but I just Obviously it hasn't been doing enough because last night when I was in the mango changing rooms I started picking off like a little scab just because my ear has been not really irritated I thought it was healing really well but I have accidentally slept on it one or two nights and you're really not supposed to sleep on cartilage piercings for at least two months. It's been about a month I'd say since I got them and yeah I looked at the back of my ear for the first time since I really got it pierced and I could always feel the back of the piercing so I just thought it was fine I would just clean it and go to bed but basically this first piercing here when I looked at the back of it in the mango changing rooms it was so swollen that it was nearly it was like halfway covering the back of the earring which grossed me out so much and then it started kind of bleeding and pussing a bit because I was poking at it and it's just not a pretty situation but they do tell you this when you get these kind of piercings they're not easy piercings to heal um, but yeah that's nearly done dissolving and then with the water that's left I'm actually going to do a like sea salt mouth rinse because I've got a little mouth ulcer developing and I've started doing sea salt mouth washes and it's been really nipping them in the bud quickly um, because I really do suffer from like canker sores and mouth ulcers and things like that. Mostly just if I eat chocolate they come up. And that is dinner. Salmon, gnocchi, broccoli, the usual orange and green. to a super nice uh, middle-aged couple the whole way there so they give us lots of recommendations and first and foremost the pub recommendation because we're an hour early and why not get a drink even the sunset is beautiful this evening it's always nice to get out in New York sometimes because you forget what sheer and utter silence sounds like in New York you have um, you don't notice it until you leave but you get a constant like hum in your ear because new manhattan is obviously never quiet so even though it might seem quiet at times there's always just this baseline fuzzy humming noise uh in the background so when you come somewhere like this you don't have any of that and it's really nice i don't know if you can hear over the trains but all we can hear right now other than that is crickets this is cool i'm having fun are you ready for an adventure such a nice evening, that blue. Yeah, it is nice blue up there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it is yeah, nice. Blue. We've arrived on Crouton and Hudson. Ah, oh, how adorable. <laughs> I 
definitely the kind of street we're gonna get picked up by a trucker and murdered. I feel like this is the Halloween version of like Christmas land. God bless the Americans, they go all out for everything. Excellent. This is adorable. This is why I love getting out in New York and doing stuff because I actually feel like I'm in America. And the last time I felt this way was when Jess took me to her haunted hair ride in Boston. Okay guys, okay the camera is not picking it up but there is pumpkins four miles on the trees, on the side. You guys, there's a Statue of Liberty made out of pumpkins. This is pretty cool. Ones. I feel like no one has ever gone to this much effort in Ireland for a pumpkin. Look, I found a Kylie Jenner pumpkin. Oh my god, you guys. This guy who made himself into a pumpkin literally used this to propose. These pumpkins are just happy, what can I say? Living my best life. Just finished with the pumpkin exhibition. It was actually good fun. I love doing stuff like this, but now on to the best bit. Admittedly, I'm a bit of a snack monster, so there's such a good smell of popcorn going around, so we're gonna try and grab some sweet bowl of things. You can all give out to me about it in the comments. So I was being indecisive and I wanted to try a little bit of everything. So we got the popcorn, which is good. This is a good popcorn. Try it. Didn't even let me try. try it. We got a fresh sort of mini cinnamon sugar donut. And lastly, just because I was curious, I basically got this, which looks like a gigantic cherry bakewell. It's like really thick. It's got loads of jam in it and I just wanted to try it. I probably would only take a bite or two out of this. We are going to catch the train home, Continue. go to bed. Hope you all enjoyed Vlogtober day 20. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always,